Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. You know, it's amazing how nice 46 degrees can feel when the wind finally dies down and you have some bright sunshine out there like we did today. But of course, tonight temperatures backing off. Currently, it's 43 in Cincinnati, 45 Brooksville, 39 already dropping into the 30s in Clinton County there in Wilmington and 40 in Batesville. And again, not bad for this time of year. Overall, downtown, we're seeing mostly clear skies as we gaze across the river over at Newport. Things looking nice there, too. So overall, 43 degrees, winds out of the west at 7 miles an hour, and our dew point down in the 20s. So this air is pretty dry, and our temperatures will cool tonight. Most of us in the upper 20s and some lower 30s by morning. As you can see on the WLWT radar, not too much going on. A nice, quiet night, and we're going to stay quiet the majority of the day tomorrow, too. It's not until tomorrow evening we start to see some rain showers, maybe even mixing in with a little bit of snow as we hit Monday. Again, quiet across much of the Midwest, but a vigorous storm system now getting its act together across the northern plains. This is an Alberta clipper. They're, they tend to be moisture starved, and that's the case with this one too, but it is going to have quite a bit of wind and eventually pull down some colder air. With all the winds and the chance for snow showers, we have blizzard warnings across portions of North and South Dakota, and those may be extended into Iowa. But right now, it looks like the biggest factor with the system is the beginning of the pull down of this cold air. You can see it's 27 below zero in Churchill, 24 below zero in Fort Severn, and this is the heart of the cold air. Most of this not heading our way, but every system that moves through for the next couple of days is going to try to tap into this air and gradually nudge it further south until by the end of this week we're in the deep freeze tomorrow no deep freeze here we'll start off at 32 degrees by the afternoon closing in at around 50 degrees a nice amount of sunshine to start the day then those clouds start to thicken up now if you're heading out to some of those super bowl parties you shouldn't have any issue getting there even heading home if you head home right after the game i don't think you're going to see any problems again we're talking about rain here and temperatures will be above freezing Late night as we head into Monday morning, though, that's where we're going to see those temperatures dip below freezing and we'll start to see some snow showers mixing in with that rain. So future cast showing tonight clear skies tomorrow morning as we head through the day. We'll see those clouds starting to thicken up again tomorrow evening. Not a big deal here. Just a few rain showers starting to move through around 10 or 11 o'clock by Monday morning. It's cold enough. We start to see some snow now by Monday evening. That's where we could see a few issues as temperatures drop below freezing and we see some snow around. It looks like right now Tuesday is going to be colder and then as we head into Wednesday, even colder than that with snow showers on each one of those days. So your forecast tonight 32 degrees. Tomorrow we'll make it up to a high of 51 and your seven day forecast snow showers on Monday, snow showers on Tuesday and and flurries on Wednesday. When I say snow showers, that means you can have those intense bursts of snow that can cause some problems, but they don't last long. And generally, if those temperatures are above freezing, you don't have any issues. So taking a look at the forecast, I don't think we have too many problems here until Monday night 